Hey guys and welcome back to another video and hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to share with you guys the latest release from Minix which is a hybrid in terms of storage and connectivity for the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air quality design and so on the usual that we see in Minix in terms of these devices really really nice it comes in two colors silver and space gray I'm using this space gray as you can see and it has besides all the connectivity a 480 gigabytes SSD I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out but in terms of price it's just awesome and it's available on India Gogo so at the moment of the recording you can get a really great price which is $99 for a 480 uh, gigabytes SSD with a HDMI 4K 60 Hz output, a USB 3.0 and also a Thunderbolt 3 connection and we will test the Thunderbolt 3 connection with a high speed external storage that I've got right over here uh, so that we can see that it's not bottlenecked. Now if we talk about prices I do believe that in my opinion it's a bargain having in consideration that besides being a storage solution it also has this extra connectivity for a computer such as this one or the MacBook Air that has as we know limited connectivity and some way limited storage because the storage in terms of Mac it's great it's the, one of the best in the market but it's also very expensive if we talk about a computer like mine that has 256 if I want to configure uh, before I purchase with 512 I will have to pay a extra 250 for a extra 250 gigabytes of storage so in here we are talking about 480 which is the double almost uh, for a fraction of the price which is roughly $99 so uh, it's a huge difference now you might say hey Robert but this one is not as fast as the one that comes with a Mac that's also true but for my particular use and we can see right over here in terms of speed tests it's more than enough for video editing and so on and so forth and to store my data while giving me the advantage of having a HDMI output so that I can take to school and make a presentation and I also have a Thunderbolt and USB. Having said, let's do a really quick speed test right over here. I've got Blackmagic Design, which is one of the favorite tools that I use. You can just select the Neo Storage, open it up and once we press start have in mind that i'm recording the screen so we will get a little bit of a hit right over here but we are talking about 400 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which once again for the type of usage that i do which is video editing on the go and to store uh, big files and so on and so forth from my presentations then it's just awesome and if you take a look at the uh, black magic design tool you will see that there are some formats of video that we will not be able to edit them on the best way scenario but in my particular case I don't edit none of those I still am as you guys are aware on 10 80 30 or 60 frames per second but nonetheless I do edit some 4k files that I do record with my phones and my cameras and having in mind that I use a mechanical hard drive in RAID 0 on my system with speeds that are a little bit lower than these and I can get by I will be changing soon but just to give you an example that it's totally fine here more than capable so in terms of speed of the uh, drive here we go now one of the things that I was curious to know is the Thunderbolt 3 pass through is it limited or not because there are sometimes limitations in terms of hardware and I've got the uh, Sabrent right over here which is an external hard drive that I shared with you guys a few days ago and is one of the fastest actually the fastest external hard drive that I've ever used and if I connect it right over here uh, directly to the Minix hub with the storage and if I select the Rocket X from Sabrent I can just open it up and once we start doing the tests we will see that although it's giving me a little bit low because I'm recording the screen but we are talking about 2400 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which is the maximum of this SSD which by the way gives me the same results of my internal SSD that I've got on my MacBook Pro but if you are interested to know uh, just search Sabrent on my channel I've done the test on that picture it's a great device but in this particular case just to test out that the Thunderbolt 3 available here on the Minix uh, it is 
a wow, a wow, <laughs> just wow. It isn't bottlenecked at all. We will be able to extract all the power of Thunderbolt 3. Now, if you are talking about comparison of this one and this one, completely different in terms of capacity and also in terms of price, which is one of the things that I do believe that Minix at this moment made a great price for a 480 gigabytes SSD with all these extras and guys basically this is it i will leave a link down below for the indiegogo uh, website or campaign that it's running on minix we will at the moment over the, the recording be able to get it for 99 they have already surpassed the goal which was published yesterday and last night when i was about to go to sleep it was almost reached this morning it surpassed and i do believe that uh, as a product like this it will get a lot more backers and i do know that there is a discount right now so if you're looking for a solution like this for your macbook pro or macbook air probably this is a great time to invest at least in my opinion i didn't find any bottleneck at all only things that are very useful on a daily basis especially extra storage and the output for video having the extra thunderbolt that in the case of the macbook air might be useful to uh, be able to connect the power and besides the power it can also output video which i was forgetting about that so i can output video from the hdmi and i can also output video from the uh, thunderbolt 3 connection right over here and that is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one esquecemos aqui uma cena que pode ser importante que é a passagem de thunderbolt 3 no macbook pro não há stress porque eu tenho aqui quatro mas no macbook air como só tem duas vocês podem se perguntar, a ti se eu precisar de carregar? Sim, pode. A ti se eu quiser utilizar para um display extra, então também pode. E para dados, para dados a gente já viu que podia. Portanto, fica só que mais esta chega, que para além de carregamento, ele também tem output de imagem.